join me as I welcome Brother Tele. Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. I am so excited and happy to be in your midst. Briefly, I will be sharing with you my testimony of how Jesus Christ delivered me from the shackles of sexual molestation with my stepmother. You know, many times I condemned myself. Many times I felt hopeless. Many times I felt totally drained all around, emotionally, spiritually, academically. I was a dead man walking. My father gave up on me because I kept repeating classes. I gave up on myself too. I did not have any friends because <laughs> nobody wants to be associated with a failure. My life was an epitome of darkness. You know, the Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 verse 4 and 5 that in him was life and that life was the light of me. The light shines in darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it. Do you want to know who I'm talking about? Yes! Well, I'm talking about Jesus Christ. He came into my life at the point when everyone deserted me. You know, he believed in me even when my father gave up on me. Jesus Christ is the light that is shining in my life. You know, he has cleared away the darkness and shame of sexual molestation. This boy you are looking at once thought of committing suicide, but to the glory of God today, I am a bright and shining light. Can you give the Lord a clap? Thank you. Today, I'm extending this invitation to you. Jesus Christ wants to shine his light in the darkness of your life. You see, there is no darkness that is strong enough to overcome the light of Jesus Christ. I am a living testimony. I never thought, I never believed that the bondage that held me bound for six years could break free. But you see, Jesus stepped into my life and that same day, in one day, he broke all the chains that held me captive. Jesus is here for you to today. Do you want to give your life to Jesus? Yes. Do you want to surrender your heart to Jesus? Yes. If you like it, can I see you? And just, just lift your hands. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Let's pray. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for my brothers and sisters that have decided to come to you today. Father, I ask that you forgive them all.